It all started with a simple post of her kids' lunches on Instagram to winning a contest where she got to spend four days in London cooking with the one and only Jamie Oliver. Joining us today to share tips and tricks on creating recipes filled with healthy, nutritious, and delicious lunchbox ideas is super mom Aviva Wittenberg. Good morning. Good morning. I love how this odyssey began. Tell us a little bit about why you started up the Instagram account. So I started, my daughter was nine and wanted to have an Instagram account of her own. And I had some hesitation, but all of her friends were doing it. So as a group of parents, we decided we'd let our kids get Instagram accounts, but on the condition that we'd all follow them so that we could keep an eye on what they were doing. And content, why are you thinking, my goodness, what am I gonna post? So it started with a simple post of their lunch. Exactly. And you saw all the inquiries and likes and questions and you're like, I'm kind of onto something here. Well, and it kept me accountable for to pack creative, interesting lunches for them and not just pack like bagels mm -hmm. every day. And as parents, it's so frustrating, it's so taxing, there's so many limitations. So let's look at creative ways and ideas they can actually take some of yours and infuse them for their children's lunches. All right, that sounds great. So this is the hardest time of the year for lunch packing. You've, it feels like you've packed a million lunches. Yeah. So these are just some ideas. These are my kids' top five uh, of the things we packed. It's all in the presentation. Look at these adorable little kits you have so it stays in place. So here you have? Uh, just some pasta with pesto. We make this with pumpkin seeds to keep it safe for school. Mm -hmm. um, and some basil from the garden. My kids make it themselves, which is fun, but absolutely you wouldn't have to. Some little skewers of bocconcini and tomatoes. Um, some sugar snap peas and fruit. So this isn't the little chip that we often eat. No, not the one. real <laughs> snap pea, for the record. Okay, over here. So you this have. is one of my kids loves granola parfaits, and so this is just like a granola parfait to go. So Look at this granola. gadget. Yeah, a little spoon. It just like pivots Cute. out. Some fruit, um, yogurt, and some like dried berries and seeds there. And again, that's allowed because it's the seeds. It's seeds, exactly. So okay. it's okay. And the granola I make, but you can buy it. You just have to be sure it doesn't have nuts in it to keep now, it safe. Now, a tip is you have your kids help you out so they're more inclined to eat it. Always. They're part of the process. If I just sent what I wanted them to eat every day, lunch would look pretty different. And they like bite-sized things. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's so important. It's got to be stuff that they can pick up and eat quickly because mm -hmm. the truth is they don't want to sit okay. and eat lunch. They want to go outside and play. So here you have sandwiches and what's inside? Yeah, these are just like mini sandwiches. They're, it's smoked tofu inside. One of my kids is vegetarian and so this is one of her favorite things. We buy it down at St. Lawrence Market and it's tasty, but you could do like little sliders, any kind of meat and it's fun because they're on like little dinner rolls. What sort of cheese is that? Oh, sorry, it's tofu. Oh, that's tofu. She yeah. eats tofu? She does. Yeah, good for it's her. really good. <laughs> good for her. And yeah. you have little melon balls. Some melon, some like little carrots that look like fries cut with a crinkle cutter. You're, that's yeah. awesome. Now, this looks very fancy. You made these samosas? No, I bought no. these samosas, okay. but I, I have made them. Uh, they're just as easy to buy, you know, yeah. in the freezer. Um, yeah, they're just some spinach samosas and a little chopped salad, some fruit, including these like cute little mini mangoes. Okay. Uh, and some mango chutney. You, I'm telling you, yeah. if I saw, if your student was in my class, I'd be like, can I dip into some of that? <laughs> that looks so fresh and delicious. And then again, here they eat with their eyes, so color, color, color. Yeah, exactly. So these are just some dumplings that I made. And dumplings are so great because you can make them with anything that you've got left over. So if you have some chicken left over, you know, just chop them up with some veggies and stuff them into dumpling wrappers. And, and it's fruit. stuff that they could pop in their mouth as they go if they're so not fast. necessarily so hungry during lunch. Exactly. It's something they could eat afterwards. Exactly. It's all in the utensils. So these are some tricks. So these are some things we use. I love these bottles, the insulated bottles. These are fun because you can write on them with a chalk marker. Uh, and send smoothies in the summer or send soup in the winter. Cute. Um, and they're good. They also keep them on their desk, which they're probably not supposed to. Just to sip. Um, just to sip during the day. Uh, and other handy things are just like melon ballers are great for like melon and kiwi and dragon fruit. The crinkle cutter is fun for carrots and cucumber as well as fruit just to, it, sometimes it's in the presentation, mm -hmm. like there'll be things my kids won't eat if they look one way, but if I change how they look, then they'll eat them. Trick their eyes. Which is, thinking. yeah, I guess. And then this is a julienne peeler, which just allows you to create like thin ribbons of okay. vegetables if you don't want to break out your spiralizer in the morning. What does this little chicken. fish guy do? This is so fun. So this uh, I use for sauce, so for, like the dumplings. I can oh. fill him with little, with, you know, like soy sauce or whatever that they yeah, can yeah. squeeze on. That's cute. And it's fun. And these? These are little silicone um, baking cups. I've actually never baked in them, but what I use them for is to put in their lunch boxes to create another section. So they stay contained and separated because kids exactly. don't like the food touching one another. Exactly. Talk to us about Jamie yeah. Oliver. He's been on this show. We know he's huge on the food revolution yeah. and introducing healthy choices into schools. So what did you do, to, you know, together? So I had the pleasure of going, oh yeah, meeting him yeah. Uh, a couple of years ago, and I won uh, an online contest, actually because Congrats. of one of the lunches. 
and went down and we learned he taught me how to make pasta and I spent the day with his with him and with his team and his team is actually as inspiring as he is because they are so passionate about the work they do and about the food revolution so I came back here and became involved in the Toronto Food Revolution organization yeah. and we spread the message about cooking at home and healthy eating uh, and encouraging kids to try great real food. Now, do your time. kids eat all of this stuff, or does it actually sometimes come back oh, with a little something inside? Absolutely. If there's something better going on in the schoolyard, <laughs> they will be doing that. <laughs> See, even with you, Aviva. A hundred percent. Yeah, no, they'll come back, and there's still days that we'll have uh, we'll have a conversation about what I'm packing, and it will come home uneaten because they've changed their minds. Of course. So they are adventurous eaters, but they're still kids. Uh, and, you know, whatever's happening in the playground is way more appealing than whatever is in their lunchbox. And everybody can follow you for daily ideas because it certainly yep. does help. Thank you for doing that. To see yeah. her year-long lunch packing odyssey, now in its second year, just go to breakfasttelevision.ca and we have the link there. Thank you. Here's to good right. health and good Thank eating. You. Over to you, Mel.